Good evening, everyone. Last break of the night, 2018 Bowman Baseball Jumbo Edition, eight box, pick your team number three from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to everyone who's still up this late and hanging out with me. By the time this break is over, it'll be a little bit later than we usually go. Giuseppe again, can you believe that? EA with Last Spot Mojo, Tigers and Mariners, double Last Spot Mojo, there's everybody else. Pick your team three, Jumbo Edition. We got, uh, in, in case you're wondering, in the case before, we got two, we got two Otani base autographs, no, no number. So let's see what this fourth case of the day has in store for us. We also got a, a nice, uh, what, three out of five, Hunter Green, no ink, but a nice red parallel Hunter Green, which is cool. All right. Good luck, everybody. What a day. Now I think my first, for those of you keeping track at home, I think my first break of, of the Jumbo Edition was an hour and 13 minutes or something like that. And I think my second one, we shaved a few, few minutes off of that. So if that trend continues, I don't know if it will. So this is, a, this is the fourth case that I'm doing. It is late at night. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go anywhere. Don't touch that dial on your computer. Will Joe beat his personal best in eight box jumbo? This is not gonna help my time. Poor packaging is not gonna help my time, Pop. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully, maybe a train whistle hit could be cool out of here. There's Victor Robles to lead things off. So we'll breeze through all this paper, of course. And Chance Cisco. That goes to EA and the O's. EA and the O's. First auto of three per box. So Vlad Guerrero Jr., that's pretty strong. Thomas Hatch to 499. Silver's like, where's yeah, where is Joe P? He usually pops in around now to give me a hard time. Cubs, EA with the Cubbies. Kinda miss that now. Joe P, where are you? Joe P's probably like, I'm not watching Bowman. Come on. Come on, Joe P. And Colton Welker for the Rocks. Eric Rager with the Rockies. Any relation to Jesse?
former Yankees prospect. He's in Oakland now. Albert Pools to 499 for Giuseppe and the Angels. For the Angels. He's playing decently this season. Jorge Ona, 30 out of 125. That's for the Friars. That'll go to Brett Burroughs. Brett Burroughs and the Padres. That reminds me of. Uh, Reminds me of, you guys remember Sean Burroughs? Played for the Padres for a while. And I went to college and worked on the newspaper staff with, uh, with, why am I blanking on his brother's name? I just, I ran into him like a couple years ago in LA. Anyway, his brother, Scott, Scott Burroughs. who was a great ringer for our... Um, has anyone played slosh ball before? Let's see a show of hands. Has anyone played slosh ball before? Where you put a... Uh, where you put a keg at second base and you basically play softball, but you have to drink a red cup of, of, uh, of beer before you can advance. And like in baseball, the... You know, the runner behind you can't drink faster than you and then keep going. The person in front of you has to drink first. So if you're hitting in front of, oh, there's Otani. So if someone in front of you, if you're hitting behind someone who's a slow beer chugger, you got to set your lineups properly. Kai Boom, 30 out of 250. That goes to Hua in and the Nationals. Hua Jung Chi with that one. Anyhow, um, so we'd have a, we'd have slosh ball tournaments. Um, there's Chris Rodriguez for the Angels, that goes to Giuseppe. We'd have slosh ball tournaments with like a rival newspapers and stuff like that. And our ringer, well, he's on the staff, so I guess not really a ringer, but our secret weapon would be Scott Burroughs, Sean Burroughs' brother. And he would, uh, he would rake. He's pretty good. Their dad, Jeff Burroughs, if you remember, some of your older guys in here, you don't have to say if you don't want to show your age, but some of your older guys may remember Jeff Burroughs. Everyone remember Jeff Burroughs? He won the uh, AL MVP in the early 70s, 1973, something like that. Sean Burroughs, after some injuries, I think a trade to Arizona or something like that, um, family lost track of him for a second or two for a little bit. I think he was struggling with a lot of... Uh, substance abuse issues but I'm pretty sure that pretty sure last I heard he was back on back on track so that's good to hear all right so Brett Burroughs inspiring that story. I don't know, Brett Burroughs with the Padres may, may, may be part of the Burroughs clan. I, I don't know. If you are, Brett, there you go. There's my there's my there's my my thin Burroughs connection. I remember Lima time with the Dodgers. He was uh on his day, the guy was dynamic. I think, uh, Gabe, if I'm not mistaken, did Lima Time have the distinction of winning the Dodgers' first playoff game like in a million years or something like that back in the two th early 2000s or something? I think the Dodgers had gone to the playoffs a number of times and had got swept out for like a couple years in a row and they were like, 
You know, and the story in LA was oh, Dodgers haven't won a playoff game since 1988. You know, and I think he was the first one in like ages. And the Dodgers were kind of bad in the 90s too, uh, but I think he was the first first time in ages that I think he I think got the first win in a million years, first playoff win. I think that was winning time. Pretty sure it was winning time. Do you really? Gabriel said, if I remember correctly about that playoff game, he went eight strong. It was something. It was. It, it was not good. The Dodgers had had a very not good streak going. Oh, you know what, Gabe? I I uh, I listened to the audio, the Audible audiobook for Ned Coletti's uh, memoir as a GM. That was pretty interesting. Nothing earth shattering, but I think since you're a Dodger fan, I think you would you would find it interesting. There's Zach Littell. I'm going with Littell because it's spelled like that. Atomic refractor autograph for Bruce and the Twins. 18 out of 100. Oh, you take that. It was a complete game shutout. There you go. That's Lima time. What time is it? Lima time. That was that was before. What time is it? Game time. There's Walker Bueller. Nine out of one fifty. One fifty being the amount of innings he's allowed this year. Hopefully more. I think I think they'll. I th I think they'll give him more if um, if he pitches well. Be like a like a Cody Bellinger situation where they can't really send him back down. Lima time. Gabriel, I'm, I'm trying to be sensitive about this, but did Lima time encounter some sort of tragic end? Or am I, am I confusing him with someone else? There's Shane Boz, the Boz, 38, 48 out of 50. That card is gold for the Pirates. Or is Lima time still with us? Uh, that goes to Michael Gallucci and the Pirates. Oh, so he's not with us. Some sort of overdose, says Gabriel. I see. <laughs> Too many fun times for Lima time. Yeah. Of course, we've saved these ones, too. Oh, yeah, I remember that Steve Finley walk-off Grand Slam. There's DJ Peters. DJ Peters actually played pretty well in the spring. If the Dodgers can't can't hit against Marlin against that strong Marlin pitching, we may need someone like DJ Peters or Alex Verdugo to come up soon, Gabe. Do you know he's from Glendora? Very near near where I grew up. Colum Ruiz, this guy, it's out of 499, that goes to Jeremy Tillman and the Dodgers, I think he's still like a year, he's like still a year or so away, right, TJ says he's crushing it in double A, but I think if he continues to crush, yeah, he'll probably start next year when Yaz is gone, right, and like it'll be like a... Austin Barnes, Kyle Farmer, Kyber Ruiz platoon or something like that. Or just move Austin Barnes to second. I think he's athletic enough to play second. Austin Barnes can make some sort of Craig Biggio style move from the plate to uh, to like second base. 
and Kyber Ruiz can just sit there. Catcher and Kyle Farmer is your Kyle Farmer could be your backup. And then uh, and eventually I think and then a year be I think Will Smith is a year or so behind Ruiz, right? There are the guys right here. Kyber Ruiz. Yeah, you got to think that Kyber Ruiz will play, will be uh, a September call up for sure. Get a cup of coffee, get his feet wet in the majors. See, I think there's Isaac. Uh, Paredes, 35 out of 125. Cyan Shimmer for the Tigers, EA. Last spot mojo. Um, yeah, Connor Wong, already catcher too. I would not be surprised, Gabe, if, um, if he develops super quickly this year for some reason, like over the next two months or something like that, you got to think they trade Yasmani Grandal, right? Who's on a one-year deal? He's on an expiring deal. You know, who wouldn't want, you know, a catcher like Grandall, Thomas Hatch for the Cubbies in EA. You know, who wouldn't want a Grandall on their team, especially if they want to sign him for sign him for a few years or so. Uh, that's your third autograph out of the box. Yeah, hard to trade Yaz though, right? If he's hitting well. Right, you're right. Maybe it's more it's more likely that one of the younger guys get traded for some other pieces. Matt Hall out of two fifty purple paper. I have dreams of getting a uh, getting Chris Archer, Gabriel, but I think I think he's on a super team friendly contract, and um, and I don't think that the Rays are going to give him up for cheap. And at that point, he Archer might not be worth it at the at the package that the Rays are expecting. But I don't feel I don't feel super confident in uh, in the pitching rotation. You know what I mean? Two, Manny. Base autos, both in one case in the last break. As far as the Dodgers rotation is concerned, I have a little concern to the game. I don't know if Alex Wood is going to be like lights out Alex Wood from like the first half of the season last year. Rich Hill on the DL. Clayton Kershaw with the uncharacteristic like five or six walks today. That's kind of weird. That weirds me out. I like Kenta Maeda is actually pitching all right. And Hyunjin Ryu, if Hyunjin Ryu can pitch like he's like 2013, like rookie year Hyunjin Ryu, that could be a nice uh, that could be a nice comeback for him. All right, Nick Solak, 21 out of 75 for the Yankees. It'll be for 
Uh, Richard Cow. Right here. Breeze through this. Oh, watch out for Otani. Breeze through the rest of the paper. And Lucas Sims, purple paper out of 250. Uh, you know, Hyunjin Ryu and, um, and Puig do need a television show together. I think that's a missed opportunity. They gotta have a TV show, yeah, like Robin Big. I think they gotta they gotta have adventures. I think it would be a good uh, maybe a, a Food Network type show. Just, they just go and eat. <laughs> you know, they just try different cuisines around around LA. With Juan Uribe as special guest. Whoa! Look at this. One of one. Harrison Bader. 2018 Rookie of the Year favorites. Harrison Bader. Super Fractor for the Cardinals. Shane Logan. One of one. Our first one of one in all the boxes we've done. There you go. He's in the majors now. There it is, Shane. All aboard. The Big Hit Express. Woo -woo! Nice. Yeah, Dave is like very nice on that. That is strong. Our first one of one, our first super. Willie Calhoun to 150, Rangers, former Dodger prospect, Andy. Thing with him, Andy, is that he has a, and there he is, Dodgers farm. He has rocks for hands. He has like cinder blocks for hands. So, so for a Dodgers organization who likes, uh, who likes all of their players to be, have, Positional flexibility, at least be able to play two positions. Mr. Calhoun was was not was not one of those guys, so they traded him to Texas. And I think the Rangers' intent is to. Uh, I think he's up, right? And the Rangers' intent is to DH him more often. I think he can still he can still crush the ball a mile. So. Ah, the best autograph in the world, Andres Jimenez. Man. Is is anybody here in the uh have any connections to the um to the FBI handwriting analysis department? I'd like to send this in and see what they think about Andres Jimenez. He's the number five prospect in the Mets system. If you if he wants to be a star, he's got to work on that auto. We're calling you out, Andres. Calling you out. Got Taylor Ward. Out of 125 for the Angel, that goes to Giuseppe and the Angels, who got the Angels in the spot randomizer. I think this guy one hit the Dodgers for much of the game earlier tonight.
And we got Cedric Mullins for the O's. So you got, I think yeah, you got Chance Cisco earlier, right? Catcher for the Orioles. I think he's up now. And then there's Cedric Mullins. For EA and the O's. Steven Duger out of 250 for the Giants, purple paper. Oppo Joe Mojo going to Karen and the Giants. All right, there you go. Super Fractor, pretty attractive. All right, next one. All right, good luck everybody. So for those of you still still awake and listening, um, thank you. By the way, hi. What is your uh, what's your what is your baseball team? Let me know what what your favorite team is, and um, and how you like like a little one sentence report on 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 how you think their season is going. And then another sentence on maybe what you expect going forward. We're about, what, about a month into the season now? Well, I would argue that it's still early. I would give it, I would give a season two months before you really say it's, before it's not early anymore, you know? Maybe another few weeks. You know, still a long season, blah, blah, blah. No, Rick, you don't have to answer that. You can, you can wear the virtual paper bag over the head. Davey with the Dodgers, yeah, so far not good. I think they'll do fine, too. We were just discussing their prospects a little bit earlier. I think they'll need to, uh, I think they'll really need to kind of get some consistent wins under their belt. I think Justin Turner's return, I think, will give them a nice little boost. All right, so more paper, chrome, autograph, Edward Olivetis with the Blue Jays, Robert Rohr with the Blue Jays. First auto out of here. Maybe Walker Bueller might be the might be the pitcher that really kind of anchors the the rotation. Could be cool. Verdugo, he, he might be called up. That could be an interesting call up. Otani already doing his thing. Cunha called up. And there's Chris Rodriguez for the Angels at 499. It's for Giuseppe, along with this, all the paper Otanis as well. I don't think he has any, has any chrome in this this year.
Ty McMahon, James Nelson, and Corbin Burns for the Brewers. Purple Chrome going to Sam Salabuda for the Corbin Burns. Burn, old Burnsy is what they call him. 99 out of 250. I don't think they call him that, but well, I'm sure they do actually. Sounds like a sounds like a good baseball nickname. Old Burnsy. Yeah, Burnsy gave us six quality innings tonight. And we just scored the runs to 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 back up old Burnsy in this start. There's Yu Chen Chang, 440 out of 499. I think he's, I don't know, Indians fans may have to let me know about this. I think he's a uh, a pretty highly touted Taiwanese prospect working his way up through the Indians organization, from what I understand. Rick Hunt saying he would love to see Nick Senzel called up. I, wasn't he up for a little bit last year? A cup of coffee, maybe? He's like, he right now, he's kind of a, a tweener, I think. Just an in-betweener. Not quite there yet. Got Brian Miller to 150. That'll go to the Marlins. That goes to Rick. Some blue shimmer for you, Rick. And Zach Littell. For the Twins, Bruce with that one. Sixty-five out of four ninety-nine on that. So those are our three autographs out of the box. So now we're just looking for parallels. Nick Sanderson is an A's guy, but your son is a Royals fan. Oh, hence, gotcha. That makes sense. An A's guy from the from the Oakland days or the Kansas City days? Royce Lewis, 10 out of 150. First overall pick for the Twins the other year. Last year? So Bruce with the Royce Lewis, it was 2017, last year, where he was first overall, and of course Otani. I want to remind everybody of the of the sweet super fractor that we pulled. I'll keep that on hand. All right, four boxes to go. We are officially halfway through the break. We're at the 3440 mark. Making good time. Making good time. I don't know if I'm going to beat my personal best. I feel like I'm slowing down a little bit. I'll be honest with you. It's a little late. But, I think we've got about 30 minutes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Usually around now is when we, when we shut off the stream. I know, Oakland days, that's what I figured, Nick. I was, uh, I was teasing. I was like, 
Nick Sanderson can't possibly be be that old to, to, to grow up with the old 70s A's. Kansas City A's. Man, A's. They got to, well, what's the deal with that stadium? I, I, I think the stadium is a big issue that they got to resolve. You know, now that now that Oakland has bailed on, or uh, the Raiders have bailed on Oakland, uh, that oh, that county just doesn't. Alameda County just doesn't have the money for. Uh, just doesn't have the money for the stadium. Without kind of, you know, they, Oakland has other things to worry about. Alameda County has other things to worry about, and paying for a brand new ballpark. I think if the A's do get a stadium, they'd move a little bit further south. Like uh, the way the 49ers did. The 49ers are, are pretty much in San Jose at this point. North San Jose. Um, I don't know. A is such a his historic franchise, the A's, but. Not, not quite there. Something just hasn't really clicked yet. All right, there's the uh, boxer, Nolan Arenado. Wow, and a red Jason Martin. Five out of five red shimmer. That goes to Michael Gallucci and his Pittsburgh Pirates. Jason Martin, there you go. Michael Gallucci, steel curtain, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Two train whistles in the break? I'll take that. And we got Spencer Howard for the Phillies. That'll be for Robert Parsons and the Fighting Phils. Forget about this guy. Sanders saying seems like the A's are a farm club to the rest of the league. Yeah, they, they're they're kind of like the feeder club to like the Yankees and the Dodgers, and you know they'll develop a talent like like Sonny Gray. There's a Stanton out of 499 speaking of the Yankees, and they'll trade him. You know, traded Ethier to the Dodgers. Although I thought that was kind of a fair trade at the time. I think they I I think they just have to catch like nice Jack Flaherty. Refractor auto for the Cardinals out of four ninety nine. Shane with that one. Nice break for you. They just need to catch that lightning in a bottle where all all these young players, you know, will all emerge and peak at the right time. You know, and and they're still under club control. So they'll, they'll just be like a you know under club control, then a few years of arbitration, and just hold on to them for a playoff run before before they trade them off and then start over again. I mean, easier said than done to time to time prospects like that perfectly, but I mean, I think that might be really the one of the ways the A's can try to get things done. Eighty nine out of one twenty five, stay competitive, but without getting overloaded with with big contracts. There's Glyber Torres for the Yankees. Richard Cow, mixing my chrome with the paper. All right, there we go.
feel like the A's pretty, are, are a pretty scrappy team, though. Always, always a scrappy team. Yeah, Nick Sanders is saying the A's are in every... Hey, speaking of the A's, there's Greg Dykeman. Refractor autograph. Yeah, the A's are a every six or seven year team. 350 out of 499. I think they just have to. I think stadium is a big thing. I, I don't think the stadium is going to fix everything, but. But a st if they can secure a new stadium, you know, and make it kind of, you know, a smaller sort of more intimate ballpark, they can get a fresh injection of cash, a fresh injection of cash there. There you go, Mr. Schweb. And that can help them maybe retain, maybe not have a super crazy payroll, but at least help them retain a few core players to continue building around them so the upswings and downswings won't be as crazy. There's uh, Justin Williams out of 250 for the Rays. That'll be for Bruce. All right. Well, these are your three autos right here. Nice Jack Flaherty. No, sorry, it's, it's kind of in the background. It's hidden there. I added this chrome in the paper pile. Come on, Joe. I saved it. All right, three boxes to go, ladies and gentlemen. Three boxes to go. Good luck. Definitely running out of a, a little steam. Got to, got to, got to keep going. The Big Hit Express slowing down a little bit. More coal. I need more coal. It should be coffee, actually. Get some more coal. That's <laughs> true. Yeah, we all know that the A's payroll won't get out of hand. Uh, let's take take a quick look around the league. The Red Sox, eighteen and five. What a, what a season they're having thus far. They're already four games ahead of the Yankees, 14 and nine. Look at this, Blue Jays, also 14 and nine. Rays are nine and 13. And the uh, O's are at six and 18. Kind of rough year with that. I, I, need, I need Alex Cobb on my fancy team to, to get something going. Uh, Cleveland. 13 and 9. Detroit, three games back at 10 and 2, 10 and 12. Twins are 8 and 11. White Sox are 5 and 16. And the Royals are 5 and 17. Royals and White Sox clearly rebuilding, but they've got some, some pretty exciting young kids coming up the ranks. So soon for the Royals and White Sox, soon. It won't be. Won't be too long. Uh, Houston off to a hot start as well. Obviously, they're they're a great looking team. Seventeen and nine, half game ahead of the Angels. Sixteen and nine. Mariners are actually having a nice season at thirteen and ten, and uh, the A's are above five hundred with a thirteen and twelve record, and the Rangers rough season for them nine and seventeen. They're kind of rebuilding as well. Oh, Davey, yes, you're in West Virginia. That's right. You can send me some coal. Is there, is there coal left in West Virginia? 
I think there is, right? There's still some coal out there. There's Michael Mercado. Tampa Bay Rays. Bruce with the Rays. Plenty of it, all right. Good, plenty of coal still left. Joe P. Before, oh, you already asked. Too late. Another Greg Dykeman for the Oakland A's, Michael Tran. Might be. Are we over? Uh, I don't know if anyone remembers, and if anyone was watching at the beginning of the show, what the over under would be. Or I think I said it at 19 and a half. Over under on how many people ask uh, if we pulled any Otani autographs. I think we might be over. I actually was not keeping keeping track. I wonder if we if we took all the breakers that were breaking Bowman baseball today. There's a uh, Adbert uh, Alzale, 154 out of 250, purple chrome for the Cubs. EA with the Cubbies had a great start the other day. If we had no, just base autos. Uh, but if I I wonder we should pull we should pull every breaker today and say. Uh, oh, I, the over under for one point, the one point five over under was was when I had the Otani autograph displayed like on camera in the last break, and I was gonna say like how many people would ask about about Otani autos when it's right in front of their face. This is the text is a little far away. I just have the focus set right here. Uh, Daniel Johnson uh, for Hua Young Chi with that one. Ninety eight out of one fifty. If I talk to, if we got a poll, if we polled every breaker and asked them, how many times did you get the question, any Otani autos? <laughs> like, I wonder if, I wonder if that would be, let's say we take the top 20 breakers, right? Each one of them must have heard that at least two dozen times, right? On average, maybe? I guess some of the more bigger rooms may may have just have more people, so they probably heard it more often. It'd probably be a lot. You guys ever see those? Uh, you guys ever see those word clouds, where they'll take like a, a a news article or a message board or something like that, you know, or a Facebook post, and they and they collect all the words, and the words that you are used more often are bigger. In, in like a cloud shape, and the and the word the least used words are, are are small. If there was a word cloud today of of every uh, of, of like the top 20, 25 breakers out there, I'll bet the word cloud would basically be any Otani autos. <laughs> It'll be just that. Another Greg Dykeman for the A's, Michael Tran, starting your. Greg Dykeman, PC. This is true. Much to EA chagrin, I've pulled more Otani autos, too, than I have Hunter Green autos. EA has the reds. He's looking for Hunter Green. Oh, we already pulled three out of here, so. Still have a chance. Still have six autos to pull.
pull our first Hunter Green auto. Is he a... I think he might be a Bowman's Bowman Scouts auto, right? Which might be a little bit more difficult. Not that I'm making excuses, EA. But I think it might be a little more difficult. Max Freed out of two four ninety nine for the Braves, D Mac. Johan Mises out of four ninety nine for my Dodgers. Oh, did I pull a Hunter Green auto in the first break? That seems like that seems like a year ago, Eric. Wasn't that like a year ago? Felt felt like uh it's a very long time ago. All right, two boxes to go. More liquid coal for the Big Hit Express. I might not be able to fall asleep. I would have, I'm going to be in that weird, tired, but caffeinated kind of state. Oh, you'd be happy with the Eric EA would be okay with the Chris Bryant autograph. I don't think we've seen like a vet auto yet, right? In the NL, Mets off to a hot start. Although four and six in the last ten, but they're still fifteen and seven. Uh, fifteen and eight. Philadelphia Phillies. Everyone's just like, oh, you know. Gabe Kapler doesn't know how to manage a team, but guess what? Now they're 15 and eight, half game behind first. That's kind of crazy. Uh, Braves are playing well. I think the Braves are still uh, the NL leaders in runs scored. They're 13 and 10. The Nationals having a rough start to the season, just like my Dodgers, 11 and 14, and the uh, Miami Marlins are predictably at seven and four, seven and 17. There's two of their seven wins against the Dodgers. Come on. Uh, Brew Crew at 16-9. They're having a good season. Cardinals 14-9. Pittsburgh 13-11. And the Cubs, another team expected to win the uh, expected to win the NL Central, are 11 and 10. Red Legs, 5 and 19. There's Andres Jimenez at a 125. Um but the I think the Reds have a lot of young players, a lot of pipeline coming up the pipeline. Oh, did he get a hit today? Acuna? I thought he went over. Diamondbacks having a great start to the season at 16 and 7. Three and a half games ahead of the Rockies, who are 14 and 12. See, there's the Dodgers. Like the Cubs and Nationals, only 11 wins for them. 11 and 12. Giants right behind them at 11 and 13. And the Padres, 9 and 17. Ryan Vallad. If you look at the, when I was working on my 2018 Bowman baseball guide for you guys, I was looking at the Rockies and I realized that the Rockies have some really solid. Pro I mean, we all know about we know about Brendan Rodgers, David Dahl, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if you look to the next sort of next tier of young 
of, of the young players coming up the ranks, I realize they're Sandro Fabian. I realize they're set up pretty well to replace Nolan Arenado, Trevor Story, and DJ Mayhu. They may they might not skip a beat. One ninety six out of four ninety nine. Refractor auto for the Giants. Oppo Joe Mojo Karen with that one. There you go, Karen. Nick Castellanos out of 150 for the Tigres. As for EA, let's set that right there. And another Greg Dykeman. This time purple paper out of 250 for Richard and the A's. What's this guy all about? I feel like we, we should learn about this guy now. There he is, second round. Second round pick, okay. Could be a somebody, could be a player, as they say. There's Frank Thomas's eugenics commercial. Bo Jackson, step your step your supplement game up. Your, your middle-aged man supplement game up. Sandro Fabian, another one for Karen. I think Bo Jackson has a competing, a competing product. Nope, that's just Chris Rodriguez. Sorry, Chris, you're not Shohei Otani. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. It's Kybert Ruiz. I don't know. There's Nick Prado, Trevor Rogers. There it is, Ryan McMahon. Speaking of the Rockies, and that goes to Eric Razor and the Rockies. Second round pick. Likes the movie Sandlot. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? You know, find me a find me a baseball fan that does not like the movie Sandlot. And I've just found you a liar. <laughs> Everyone likes Sandlot. Every baseball fan likes Sandlot. If you don't like baseball, yeah, I mean, you can say I don't like Sandlot. That's fine. It doesn't have to be your favorite movie, but at least you like it. All right, last box coming up. Nick Gordon. When's Nick Gordon going to get called up? I feel like soon, right? Yeah, he was drafted in 2014. Let's get Nick Gordon to the action. Dust off those Bowman first autographs. We made it, folks. Last box. I don't know if I beat my personal best today, but I gave I gave the old college try. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. We'll be done in just a few minutes after this box is done. So I have nothing to randomize, which is great. I like breaks where I don't have to randomize anything at the end. I can just say, great, thanks, good night, appreciate it. We are done after this. We'll be back tomorrow at 3 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Eastern.
maybe. That might take a little extra time. Tomorrow is the NFL draft, so with all, all this baseball talk today, right, probably like eight and a half hours of this broadcast, eight hours of, of, of baseball talk, deep baseball talk too. These are prospects. You know what I mean? We're taking a deep dive into the to the prospecting world. Hardcore baseball fans, I'm sure, enjoy this. But we like the football too. We like the football as well, so we'll be talking a lot about the draft tomorrow. Tomorrow is a great time for me because I get to learn the names that I'll be saying for the entire 2018 football season, when all the, all the 2018 football releases. Learning new names. It's exciting. Learning new names, players getting new nicknames. You know? Man. What will we do without sweet Kareem's or made of these? You know, lights, camera, action. Those are gone now. Gone. New nicknames for new guys. So it'll, it'll be an exciting year. All right, last box. Thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. There's Eric Pardino out of 499 from Bra from Brazil. That goes to the Blue Jays, Robert Rohr. Probably one of the few one of the few kids in Brazil playing baseball and getting drafted by the team too. That's so he must be pretty good. Maybe he can play for. Toronto FC as well. Let's scoot this paper over here. Wander Javier leading things off. There's Verdugo again. Is Colton Welker, like Wes Welker's brother, little brother? Should we find out? Colton Welker. Played the same high school as Anthony Rizzo. Oh, he's from... Okay, so he's from, like, that Parkland area, too. No, not... Doesn't say anything about him. I don't Maybe they wouldn't say, but... Could be, maybe. Another Otani for Giuseppe. And we've got a Bondel Isabel. For the Dodgers, that goes to Jeremy Tillman. More Papel y Grom. Colby Allard. Senzel, Bueller, and Ian Anderson. More Papel. Chrome. Willie Calhoun. And Logan Allen out of 499 for the Friars. Brett Burroughs with the Logan Allen. And the last stack coming up, we have two, we should be expecting two more autographs out of there. There's Aaron Judge. DJ Stewart. And Mackenzie Mills for the Phils. Mills for the Phils going to Robert Parsons. His name is Robert Parsons. 216 out of 250. Nice. Phillies could be could be scary. They're, they're kind of scary now, actually. They're playing some good baseball. I think the Phillies, here's my sort of hottish take. I think the Phillies are going to spend a lot of money this offseason. I think they're going to chase after Machado or, or, um, or Bryce Harper. Because 
I think Philly's not necessarily a small market team, you know, by any stretch. They're no, they're, they're okay with spending money. That franchise is not, not afraid of spending money. I think they're going to do it. Especially if this season goes well, they'll just be like, hey, let's pop a, let's pop a Bryce Harper out there. I don't think they take that. There's Joe Adele, 26 out of 150 uh, for Giuseppe. So I think they'll do it. Yeah, Reds struggling so far this season, but they've got a great pipeline too, Kyle Kramer. What up, Kyle? There's Otani. Looking for one more autograph. Will the last autograph be an Otani autograph? That would make it three on the day. Let's see what this last auto is going to be. Will the last auto be Otani? Oh, 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 Otani. Auto parts. No, it's Luis Escobar. Goes to Michael Gallucci and at the Pirates. Red's farm system is great. Kyle Kramer. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on the Reds. Taylor Trammell. Tyler Maley, who's up now. Jackson Stevens and the Stevensons, Robert and Tyler Stevenson. There's Colby Allard for the Braves out of 150. And that is that, folks. Jake Berger at the very end. We did it. That was a uh, Pick Your Team 3 of 2018 Bowman Baseball 8-Box Jumbo Edition from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Thanks very much, everyone, for hanging with me this late. Appreciate it. We'll see you next time. We'll see you tomorrow, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. JaspiesHobbyland.com.